thank you for the moment to Joe Canning and Martin Carney. Back here in our Croke Park studio, we have Joe Brawley, Colin O'Rourke and Pat Spillane. And Colin, we might get a quick comment from you before the break. Well, it's been a very enjoyable half of football. and I think uh, Down have played the better football. Cork have had plenty of possession, but they seem to be the same as they have been all year. They don't seem to know where they're going, a bit lacking in method. Down a much slicker team and uh, a bit strange the marking arrangements that Cork have, but a very, very good game. But Cork have come back into it and it's still up for grabs. It started off in a great welter of excitement. Yeah, well, Cork should have been a goal and a point up in the f inside the first minute, which would have settled a team that are obviously a bit lacking in confidence. And they retreated into their shell a little bit and down just came out and expressed themselves and played some beautiful open football. Yeah, OK, we're going to take a short break. Further reflection on that first half in just a few minutes. Now, also here on the Sunday game, there's a chance for you to win a fantastic prize. And we have details coming up a little bit later on. Joe Brawley, Colin Rourke and Pat Spillane here in our studio. Pat, what did you think of that first half? Uh, enjoyable enough. I mean, most of the football was played with, by the team in the yellow jerseys. You know, their movement, their, their foot passing, their tackling. You know, it boils down to the thing that we were talking about before the game. Self-belief and self-doubt. Down are playing with self-belief. And once Cork got those couple of, missed those couple of chances, yeah. you could see that fear and lack of confidence permeate through their play. And you know, they were clueless and inept in that first half. They didn't have leadership. Their decision making was poor, wrong options. Their kicking, both foot passing, whatever like that. And there's just, there's no leader there. And you can talk about sentiment and say, geez, they deserve an All-Ireland. But you know, Michael, All-Irelands are earned. You've got to, you've yes, got to. Yes make it work and they look like a team that are waiting for things to happen mm. rather than making, making things yeah, happen sure. you're, you're, you're right Pat, but i think the reason for that is because they're not that sure what their rules are they're not yeah. that sure how to go about it with down there's precision yeah. you know there's there's that there's that confidence that comes from knowing what it is you're supposed to be trying to achieve and so you know down when they're spearheading yes. attacks are really spearheading i mean the, an amazing statistic in the game and i think what's happened has been entirely predictable Cork have won 17 kickouts to down six. Mm. And they should be winning the game by seven or eight yeah. points. But, but, but in truth, picked in truth yeah. they just look as though they're running through quicksand. A nice example of the, the, the contrast column in it. A Cork attack that ended up in a down point. Yeah, well, Cork have, have uh, rampaged through the middle with the likes of Miskela has gone through. But the finished product has been dreadful. Like Alan O'Connor was through in the first minute. And, you know, the worst thing about Cork is the wrong fellas are shooting. Mm. Like Miskela should be drawing a man and giving the ball to a forward. That's what the forwards are on the field. And then a brilliant foot pass oh, yeah, down brilliant. here along the wing. And you know, down are able to do this. They're cross field passing. Paul McCormiskey, Mark Poland, all those fellas have been very good. And they're handing the ball off to the player who should be shooting. And you know, it's a very simple looking game, whereas for Cork. It's quite a big, a big contrast between the teams when you're looking at it from here is that Downs runs are always diagonal yeah. and cross yeah. field, pulling everybody out of position. Yeah. We're looking down the field. I mm. kid you mm. not, the three cork full forwards that's are right. standing. They are standing that's in right. position. Yeah. You know, and I mean that's yes, that's right. difficult enough when you're playing one on one football, but when you're playing against twelve yeah. men behind the ball, yeah. I mean the yeah. two scores that Cork have got from play are Virgin on the miraculous, magnificent points. You know? Well, the other thing that didn't move in that first half pass was uh, the goalposts, and Cork seemed to be having a problem finding Well, I mean, them. this is an argument I have all year. I mean, the, these games are still won by the teams who can get the more scores, and I, I don't know whether there's enough emphasis being put on shooting, but Alan O'Connor, first minute of the game... And shouldn't he, be shooting. Shouldn't be shooting, but this shooting from the outside of the right foot. Now, you can make, a, make a, a, a justification for Alan, he's a midfielder. That was a bad miss by Paul Kerrigan, and again, that's an awful kick. He's on the post, oh. I mean, in, in C Senior inter-county championship football, that's that the team who have probably 50% possession get their first score from play after 31 minutes. But I would agree with Joe. They obviously had decided, right, we're going to move the ball fast today. So they had, but but after that they hadn't made them because, as Joe appointed, there's no movement from the full forward line. And even when they get it, it's by accident. But then when they do get it, there's no one coming off the shoulder at pace. So they said we're going to move it, but somebody forgot to put in plan B. But from the throw-in though, Colin Morug. They, they moved that ball fast, they moved it yeah. through the down offence, they got chances, they got a goal chance, they, 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 they could have had a couple of goals out of this. Yeah, there's no doubt about it, they're running through the centre of the down defence yeah. fairly easily, which you know should give them a certain amount of hope. And you know, this was a, a fairly Jean. easy chance, she had to finish here, but right. like when you guess the rebound, now Dan McCartan brings off a miraculous save. So did the goalkeeper McVeigh. Yeah, and <laughs> but, 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 but she should have gone around him. It has always been a failing, sorry, of this Cork team. 
Cork teams don't score goals. They've played seven matches in this yeah. year's championship. They've got four goals and they've been playing but, against but, some poor but, teams. But do you not agree, Pat, that it's not so much the missing of the goal chance and the missing a couple of the chances. What it does is it sums up the lack of confidence, confidence that's in the ranks. You know, if that had been down coming yeah. through there, Danny Hughes or Benny Kohler, the ball would have been the net, the crowd would have been up. As it is, it's been a huge downer for Kohler. By the way, Mike, we're not writing them off. Oh, no, I know that. I know <laughs> well, that. I am. Okay, I am. You're not. <laughs> All right, well, Joe is the West Ireland. We're going to take a break here on the programme. The second half of this year's All Ireland Football Final coming up. Now, plus our big competition, because you rejoin Marty Morrissey. Thank you very much, Michael. Well, in any championship match, midfield is a crucial battle and no uh, different in the All-Ireland Senior Football Final. I'm joined by two gentlemen, two stars in that uh, area, Kieran Whelan and Dermot Early, and they're just a little bit taller than myself. So, Kieran, let me start with you. What do you make of Down? Are you, have you been impressed with the opening 35 minutes? Yeah, they've been impressive all year. After a shaky start, they've settled into the game and they just look li like they're more cohesive, have a structured plan. And I think ultimately their forward line has turned up. They're working well together compared to Cork, who just look clueless going forward. And you know, they've only scored two points in play, Cork. So down look the stronger at the moment. Dermot Early, what do you think of Cork? They're very disappointing, aren't they? Yeah, well, as Kieran said, they, they, are, they seem a bit clueless. Um, you know, in the first few minutes, they were moving the ball quickly. They were creating opportunities. I mean, they should have capitalised a bit more. But after that, they were slow and laboured in their, in their build-up, allowing Down to get back, and Down made a couple of great tackles. Uh, it just doesn't seem to be going their way at the moment. I'd expect that you'd see, you know, Nicholas Murphy or, uh, you know, um, Colin O'Neill or Derek Cavan have been introduced because they need to, they need to up it uh, and get something out of the second half. That has been the game plan all along, and it has worked. Is that, would you anticipate the same sort yeah, of tactical they're only, they're only three points behind. You couldn't rule them out, and they have the strength and depth. They need to make changes because they're just not performing to the required level, and you, I think Conor Coonan will make changes in this half, maybe one or two at half time. It'd be interesting to see. And on a tactical strategy uh, sense, Noel O'Leary and Marty Clark, that's a bit of a surprise, isn't it, lads? It is, yeah. Well, people expected maybe Michael Shears or Cadigan to pick him up, and he's failed him a couple of times, and they've, they've converted frees, you know. But, you know, ultimately, I think it will come down to the last 20 minutes of strength and depth, and if Cork make the necessary changes, they may, they may still win ugly. Dermot Early, Cork are down. I'm going to go Cork, but they need to up it. Kieran Whelan? Stick him with Cork. There you have it. <laughs> that's the view from the sideline. We'll go back to Michael. Thanks, uh, Marty Morrissey, the Cork team back out. We're just waiting for Down for the moment. We've been talking about... For ...where he's a bit of a goal threat. Yeah. Cork have nothing to lose now by throwing in these players a bit earlier than the normal. Cork's best would. football, Michael, was played in the last 10 or 15 minutes against Dublin when they're through caution to win, like I said. That's I think it is. They introduced Colm O'Neill. He was a target man and they moved the ball Definitely quick. Should bring him they in. moved the ball quick and long. Now, Nicholas Murphy is there, but Colm O'Neill is the other piece of the jigsaw I think they require. See, the other thing about this, Colm O'Rourke, that, you know, we've been talking about the way Cork have not quite delivered and so on in this first half, but they're only a couple of three points yeah. uh, adrift this day. And surely they'll be in, inside the dressing room, Conor Coonan saying, lads, what are we at? If we play a bit of football, we have a great chance yeah. here. Yeah, they're, st yeah, they're staring over the edge now because yeah. an awful lot of these players yeah. won't be back here no. again.